at blackouts. Now, Q, uh, many in the media, you know, are going absolutely into crisis mode. You know, I don't know about you, but it feels to me we just lurch from one crisis to another. Sometimes I think the world's going to end with a crisis. Do you remember the HGV shortage, driver shortage, by the way? Yes. We had that. Last you had year. fuel crisis. You had the driver. Non-stop. It's just you go from one crisis to another to another. Um, Daniel's just been telling me that one news outlet that shall remain uh, nameless is giving tips already on what to do with a blackout. It's all a little bit hysterical, but nonetheless, do you think we're heading towards the 70s or not? Well, it, it, it feels like it, and what I found really interesting... How does it feel like it? Power cuts on the agenda maybe at Christmas? They're That's not a on the agenda. Well, they, might, they might be. That's a fact. And there was a discussion at, at Cabinet level about whether or not Jacob Rees-Mogg, you know, the, the, the modern man's communicator was allowed to run a campaign to give people energy-saving tips this winter in order that we might avoid power cuts. Now, we're led to believe that the Prime Minister vetoed that, and there, there have been government figures coming out in the last 24 hours saying that power cuts might happen. So that's not me making that up. Mm. Do you know what I think is happening? And I actually applaud the sensibleness, and this government cannot win. If they do contingency planning then they're heckled and it's crisis mode. If they don't do contingency planning, ah. then they're remiss at their job. They can't win. No, they can. And you know what? Sometimes when the government tries to do the right thing and give advice to its citizens, there are voices, sometimes in this very studio, that say, oh, no, nanny state, don't tell people what to do. It's just the government here, had they gone with this information campaign, it's good sense. Yeah, oh, why should the good. government be why does, if you Why does not... everything have to be done by the government? Yes. Well, let me come back to what I, I, I think. To let me come back to what I think about this. This is a typical modern media setup. I mean, instead of having the responsible media we had in the 1970s, when those power cuts were caused, were caused by Scargill and the National Union of Mine Workers on, on their 1970s trip uh, strike, um, not, the one, not the one we know as the miners' strike that happened in the 80s, but the 70s one when they closed down the coking stations um, through uh, secondary picketing. Um, instead of that, what we've got is a media that says, uh, Prime Minister... Can you guarantee there won't be power cuts? Well, of course you can't. Mm. It's like going up and saying, Prime Minister, can you guarantee it won't rain? Well, of course she can't. I mean, she doesn't know what's going to happen. You have Biden on your own news clip saying there could actually, talking seriously, and if he, you know, is, which he can, uh, talk seriously about nuclear war actually happening. How would she say, no, I can guarantee there won't be power cuts? So they say, the Prime Minister refused to rule out power cuts. Look at that. There could be power cuts. What do you need for power cuts? Now, get a list out. And you've got the news saying, get your torch ready and don't use candles and everything. There are going to be power cuts. She can't guarantee there aren't going to be power cuts. But the national grid thinks that it's very likely we'll be able to get through without them. And I'm reasonably sanguine that we probably can. But, you know... But um, just on uh, the... This is a media-type trip. Yeah, then just... I'll tell you the other thing. If they came out with advice... I remember going back to the same period in the 1970s. A minister came out with advice. He said, share the bathwater. Use it twice. Well, when... I mean... uh, and, and well, we're not doing that. And, and save heating, you see. Use the bathwater twice. But I thought Absolutely I excoriated. Was... And then every cabinet minister will be asked, have, have you shared your bathwater today? We didn't have showers in those days, we had baths. Um, well, have you shared your bath today, cabinet minister? And they'll be like, How about you, Mr. Reese Mogg, as he goes past? Who do you share your bath with today? It would be endless like that. The, you can't, the government hasn't learned how to, how to handle and deal with a truly irresponsible media such as we have at the moment, with the shining exception of this particular show. Of course. But then I think you're saying about this information campaign, the cost associated with that was estimated to be about 15 million quid. Right. Mm. You're saying about sharing bath water. I remember growing up, we did share bath water. I'm one of six siblings, and we did all share bath water, not yeah. because uh, for any reason other than that's all we really could afford. We didn't have a lot of money. So if you don't have a lot of money... You don't need Jacob Rees-Mogg or whoever to spend £15 million of our money, taxpayers' money, telling people, turn the light off if the room's empty, turn the radiator off if the room's empty, because if you don't have a lot of money, you will do that anyway. Well, uh, I partially agree. And I'll tell you, I'm, 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 hang, hang on one finish. second, you jump right in there, right? Go on, then. So one second. 
You, you are right that a lot of people from backgrounds where they didn't have a lot of money, all of which are on this panel, uh, have a certain common sense running through them, I think, true. But public information campaigns do change behaviour. They do save money. They do lead to changes in outcomes. And if that 15 million quid information campaign, which is money not to be sniffed at, but is a fraction of the billions wasted by the current administration in the past two years, it could have saved, it could have reduced our power consumption. Uh, you know, to, I can't believe I'm saying this, James Jacob Rees-Mogg in his defence, a campaign like that, he's not doing it for the fun of it. He's obviously put it forward because it might save power, save energy and save money as, as you spend to save, not just to waste, waste cash. I'll tell you something else.